Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, survivors. <clears throat> welcome back to Pal World. And welcome back to surviving with the survivor guy. Uh, I... I have a confession. <laughs> um, well, before I tell you that, go check out episodes 1, 2, and 3. Uh, they're all up on the channel now. But the confession is... I stopped recording at the end of episode 3, but I couldn't stop playing. I, The survivor guy is hooked. He's hooked pretty badly. <laughs> I uh, think I caught the Pal World bug, along with the other 23 or so million players out there uh, that have purchased copies. This game is fantastic. I have been really, really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, so comment down below if you're enjoying it too. Uh, I think a lot of you are. This series seems to be very successful. Um, it's definitely one of the more popular series on the channel, which is a good thing. So we'll continue to play Power World, and we will continue to survive. For I am the survivor guy. What are we going to do today? Well, <clears throat> we're going to hit this blue rock a little bit more. Probably once, twice... Three times, four times, five, six, there it is. And we are, I promise you, we are going through those arches right there. Those. I don't know when. I don't know how far away it is, but we're going. I really want that deer. I don't think we have enough pal balls for the deer. We do have 17 pal balls. Hmm. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm risking it. We're risking everything. See if we can get him. We're the survivor guy. Let's see if we can get him. He looks tough. Ooh, he's all over my pal. Get him, pal. Ooh, that guy hurts. He knocked me into the tree. Are you kidding me? All right, let's run over here. This might have been a bad mistake. That didn't help me much. Alright, it looks like my buddies are helping out. Which is kind of cool. Is that because we're close to the base, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's see if we got him. No way. Ho ho ho! Get out of town. We just caught ourselves a deer. That has to be the coolest thing that we've done all day long. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we can end the episode right there. That was just an excellent episode. Um, <clears throat> you know what? On that note, let's, uh, let's eat this. And let's head through the arches, as I promised. So, I don't plan to talk to this NPC right here. Uh, I'm not real big in following the story or understanding uh, more about the deeper gameplay or the deeper story that goes with the world of Pal World. I'm here to survive, and I'm here to catch little furry, fuzzy buddies to hang out with me. Um, <clears throat> in episode two and three, we talked about uh, building this fancy contraption. Whoops. Must be having a little bit of a loading issue there. We talked about building this fancy contraption right here, which I think in episode five, we're going to play around with that. We're going to check that out, um, see how it works. Apparently, it works on humans. Um, I have seen some YouTubers catch some of the enemy humans in this game. I have zero interest in doing that. Um, but there's plenty of other channels out there that are doing it. Game Hopping, Game Hopper's doing it. Uh, I think Cage did it. Um, but yeah, that mechanic exists in the game, which is a touch odd to me, but hey. Different strokes for different folks, right? Um, let's see if we can catch this Kativa. Right over his head. There we go. Come on down, buddy. You are on the price is right. Come on down. 
Ah, I did not mean to take him out. All right, well. <clears throat> Let's see who else can we catch. This is kind of a cool area, actually. There's a lot going on over here. Let's see if we can come up here, get some more of the blue rocks. We also have to keep an eye out for a new location for our base. Uh, I think where we're currently at is temporary at best. Um, I would definitely like to find another location. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, definitely would like to find another location uh, at some point. And I kind of want this guy. I don't know why, I just do. Pen Gullet should be able to take him out. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can catch him. 60% chance to catch him. <clears throat> there we go. And we have another guy up here. He's got some kind of ice attack like our guy does. See if we can get him. Oh, we got frozen. 60% chance to catch him. Put a fire guy out and see how he does. Oh, there's some new pals up in the background there. Uh, we apparently have a dog that's upset at us or something. Uh-oh. I don't know what those things are. Him too, 78% chance. We got him. Looks like our guy is getting low on health. We're gonna bring him in. They do heal um, in the pal ball when you, when you actually grab them in the pal sphere, they heal, uh, which is really nice. Cause... All right, we got him too. That got a little intense, a little quick. We ran out of arrows. But, uh... We got us some new pal balls. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Let's grab this black... Excuse me, blue rock over here, and then we're going to start heading back to the base. Because I don't relish the idea of staying out here without arrows. Looks like we also made another level, which is kind of nice. There we go. So let me know down in the comments uh, if you think we should move uh, or if you think we should stay where we're at. Um, I value you guys' opinion, especially if you're already playing Power World and you know a better location. But uh, I think I want to be, because the base acts as a fast travel point by itself, I typically want my base to be a little bit more removed and further away from uh, the map's fast travel points because that way there it gives us a little bit more flexibility when we use the fast travel system. Um, I think one of those brown pig things that we just caught can be ridden. Uh, we might have to look and see if we can build a saddle or something for that. That'd be kind of neat. The game is definitely visually stunning. There is uh, there's a lot going on. The world feels alive. Uh, there's a lot to do. A lot to keep you busy. And on that note, let's go ahead and make some arrows. And we'll 
come over here and repair our items. Might as well do the bow while we're here. A nice thing, you notice I'm not carrying uh, any rope on me at the moment. Um, one of the really cool things about this game is as long as your chests are close enough to the repair bench, uh, it will pull resources uh, from the chests, which is really nice. Uh, let's see, we need some palladium fragments, and then I think the rest of everything else is in here. So boom, boom, uh, boom, boom. We apparently don't have any horns or bones yet. Looks like we might be needing to build another chest here soon. Which is fine. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and cook some food. Looks like we can make roast elk deer. Let's go ahead and cook that up. Really interesting uh, and fun cooking animation. You don't typically see that in any sort of game. Usually it's just... Start it, it's done. Nice to see that the developers went a little extra extra mile to give you that immersiveness. I wish the uh, wish the fire would take fuel though. It doesn't seem to burn wood, um, which is a little disappointing. I, I think it would be nice if it did. Actually, this requires kindling. I wonder, can we put... I think we have a fire pal. Can we put him down? Does he have kindling? Did he cook our food? Hey, hey, look at that. He's cooking our food. Okay, I'm not... That's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Alright, let's see if we can... Go ahead and give ourselves some more health. Let's see what we have for technology to unlock now. Ah, see, we can buy or make a rush bore saddle. Alright, I like that. Let's get this. Let's get this. I don't think we need a bat. We can hold off on that. Let's see what it takes to make a rush bore saddle. How do we do that? Pal workbench, we need cloth. Alright, I think we're going to have to go farm... Think some sheeps, which we need to do anyways, right? How many pal balls do we have? We have ten. Let's go. Let's go see if we can find some sheep. Actually, I think this guy. Well, he's one of ours. I really gotta. We gotta get some more name suggestions in the comments below, cause uh, <clears throat> it's starting to get a little confusing with all these little fuzzy guys running around. Who's ours? Who's not ours? All right. Um, let's take you out. Grab the stick. Are there wool guys over here? I see a chicken. And I think this guy will give us... Oh, I'm not... Ooh, we are not fighting a level 11. No, but we'll fight a level 3. Go get him. Go get him. He doesn't have to survive. Just get him. Nicely done. And we do get wool from these guys. Alright. Get the chicken. Uh-oh. That's not going to end well for us. We ended up hitting that packer guy. And I think he's got a buddy, too. Alright, this we're going to have to pay attention here. The team is not doing too well. Oh. Yeah, don't come up here after me. Let's let Katiba rest a little. Oh, nice job. 
I think Pengola can handle this guy. We'll see. He seems to be interested in me, though. Get him, Pengola. Alright, it's Kativa's turn. Put Pengola back out if we have to. I don't think we're going to have to. Let's see if we can catch him. 28%. Six, oh, shit. We're actually, let us get him. I can't believe we caught him. Now this little guy is really upset at us. Did we get the chicken? We got the chicken. All right. Well, that was a little crazy. I wasn't expecting all that excitement. <laughs> we were just looking for the, uh, the wool guys to give us uh, some wool. Instead... We ended up with chaos. We got a couple chickens, because I always like the eggs. There we go. Let's head up here. Call back our little woolly guy, whatever his name is. See if we can catch this guy. Ah, too much damage. Ah, too much damage. Did I knock him off the thing? Oh, poor guy. Fell in the water. Oh, well. I'm not seeing a lot of sheep guys. If I'm missing them, tell me down below in the comments, but I don't see them. I thought I saw them up here at some point. Always need wood, so let's get a couple trees while we're here. There's the... Oh, there's a woolly guy. Do you guys see him up to the on that plateau above us. Kind of the same direction the chicken just went. Let's see if we can find him. There we go. Oh, check that out. That's kind of cool. Neat little attack. Alright, so we got him. Get the next guy. Alright, we got him. Apparently... Are these chickens upset at us too? I think so. I think our buddy is stuck. Get him, Kitsiva. Nice. Ooh, what's that up there? Uh, we're definitely going to need one of those guys. Alright, looks like Kitsiva is now level 8. We're going to have to give him a better name. Put a name... Ooh, a chest. Put a name down bottom. If you guys think of anything that you want to call him. We, uh... <clears throat> would love to have some names suggested from the community. Do me a favor and keep it PG. We don't need uh, any upset parents at us for inappropriate language on the channel. But yeah, this is Power World. I'm really enjoying it. Let me know also if you guys think it's too dark at night, if I should be uh, turning up the brightness, or if this looks okay with a torch. I kind of like the realism. Of running around with a torch, but uh, 
And what the heck is that? A Tombat. We are not getting anywhere near that guy. Whoa. I don't even think we're level 12, let alone fight a level 12. Wow. And these guys are sleeping. He looks really, really cool. He's some kind of flyer. Alright, oh, there's another daydream. Alright, we're coming down here. We're gonna pick this rock up, and we are getting out of dodge. Seems to be a lot of bad guys walking around right now. Oh, what is that? I don't know, but get him. A depresso. Okay, 50% chance to catch depresso. Let's see if we get it. 77%. Hey, hey. Not a bad way to round out the fourth episode. With a pal we've never seen before. Very nice. Do we have enough berries in here for the guys? Well, put in another 13. Can't hurt. Let's sort that out. Let's see if we can make some cloth. Looks like we're going to need this to make the, uh, the bench that we have to make. Who knows? Maybe in the next episode we'll actually have a mount we can ride. That would be pretty neat. Let me see if we can get this bench placed and then we can... Uh... So let's see. Pal workbench. So I'm thinking... How about if we put it over here by the pals, right? I mean, it's kind of their workbench. Needs to be level, though. I'm kind of liking this spot right here. Let's put it right there. And then we can put a chest next to it. I like it. Alright, we're going to let them build it when they wake up. And I think we're going to end this episode here. We got a lot done. <clears throat> we captured a couple new pals. We've got uh, Depresso. We've got an Alpaca. Uh, Pengullet has definitely been our rock star today, him and Katiba. And uh, we've got some new items. We got a new workbench to build. So I think things are looking good. We got a full belly. We do not have a full belly. So the survivor guy needs to eat. Hold on. Now we have a full belly. Alright, survivors. I think that's going to be a wrap for episode 4. A couple more of those depressors over there. Wouldn't want to see them in a large group. But on that note, have a fantastic day. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode. Later.